officials and staff of both sides about racism and discrimination with some of them taking the knee. So we are underway at the Vitality Stadium. It is a big night for Blues who... to Jaden Anthony. Cantwell. And it goes, Solanke was free in the box and he went for it and was not too far away from putting it in goal which put the Blues defence. Point, try and hurt me in the wider areas, but we'll see. Delivery is away by Stacey. Bakuna goes for the first time shot. Blocked by Cantwell. Garner's coming back from an offside position. Bellis not offside. He looks to find Taylor. It's away by Kelly. Here's Jordan Gren. This is where you want him, isn't it? As he gets the cross in to the back post. Gardner attacks it, looking for Hogan. Not quite away. Taylor towards goal. And Blues have nearly found the opening goal at the Vitality. Yeah, really good header by Nat Phillips on the goal line to head that behind. In by Bellison, into the back post. It's back in towards the path of Ted and Mengi, but Bournemouth get it away and they are trying to move. Etheridge's start position that he's pulled out to the side of the goal because he wants the ball away from the goal in case. Solanke to Billy Cantwell. Christie goes for the curler and he hits the crossbar. Wonderful first time effort by Ryan Christie. Almost sees Bournemouth go in front. It's Amura. Cross in, not the best clearance by Pedersen. It's Billing, pulls it back and in. Ryan Christie scores this time. They know he's hard to pick up or he's hard to deal with. And you can see if it's on the break forwards, they're putting a number of bodies forward. Into Solanke, it's 2-0. No, when you have got the ball, you need to look after it. You need to be more careful with it and not give good sides like Bournemouth opportunities to keep coming and coming again. Billing off the post, it was a wonderful ball in. Yeah, I'll let that one go, but you know, it always seems to be when it shoes on the other foot at our place, we'll seem to get caught out with those ones. Graham's ball in, it was the right to Pedersen, who really should have got something on the end of it. He made the run, he did the first part brilliantly, but it was just a shame the second part, he couldn't get any real telling contact to it. Oh, he's just got a... All about his physical strength and his height. He's going to reach Jeremy Bella here, who's got a bit of... A chance here to maybe go and take on Jack Stacey. Decides to put the ball in. Gardner attacks it. It's saved by Travers. He didn't gather it first time and then has to leap up above Hogan to fully palm it away. Who's not used to playing at left back. He's probably going to show him a lot of the inside, which is exactly what Ryan Christie wanted in that first half and certainly did get a lot of joy out of. Here's Hernandez. He's swiped out by Jefferson Lerma, who surely now is going to go into the book. And Hernandez, as you'd expect, is... Reacted unkindly to it, and tensions are just boiling over a little bit here at the Vitality Stadium. It was a lively tackle, wasn't it? You can see why Hernandez is not happy about that. He's just come on the pitch, and, you know, the boy Lerma there, he's dove. Oh, he's yeah, shown him a red, a red card. card shown him a red card. Jefferson not surprised. Lerma and not surprised. James Linnington is not hanging about, and Bournemouth might be 2-0 up. They were seemingly in real comfortable control but maybe that is just going away a little bit now Hernandez has shown a yellow card himself but James Lillington much to the surprise of myself and Marcus and probably most people inside this stadium he's shown a red card to Jefferson Lemon which has left Bournemouth with 10 men yeah this could be interesting now couldn't it this could change the dynamic of the game and it doesn't surprise me one bit because when I first saw it I thought that looked very reckless the way he flew in on Hernandez and yeah, I mean, if Hernandez is limping now, so he, fingers crossed he hasn't caused him any damage there with that. It did look very high, studs were showing. Well, it is a real reckless tackle. It's no real sign he was ever going to get the ball, was it? It was just trying to be make the most and take advantage of that extra player that we've got on the pitch. Goes into the box, it is away, it's come to Shunic. It's now Hernandez who goes for the curler, and it's deflected in by Nat Phillips. And Blues, who've got an extra man advantage, were looking to get a goal. They have managed to get one. And now with 20 plus minutes to go, it is game on. And the belief is going to be back amongst those Blues players and staff alike. No doubt that's got them rattled. That sending off has really shook them. And that, the fact now we've got that goal back, uh, it's, it's going to be a, an interesting, interesting end to the game. Really is. With Hernandez coming on, making such an impact. Fortunate deflection, but you'll take them all day long at this point. 
what we don't want to do is slow the ball down. We don't want to stop any momentum that we've got in this game. Bakuna looking for Jukovic, and he's denied by Mark Travers. Fantastic save by the Bournemouth keeper. The biggest save he's had to make tonight, in which he's been kept quiet up until now. And it's an important save as Jukovic is denied. When, when you've got that extra play, you need to make the most of it. Anthony, Solanke, Anthony gets it back. Fourth goal in this game is crucial, is it? Bournemouth going after it. Good tackle by Sunjic, Anthony's still there, and he's managed to put it away. Um, we just let our guard down too much, didn't we? And, um, you know, another goal conceded, which is a Graham problem with the for ball us. in, Taylor attacking it. Garner and Jukovic are in there. As both are just trying to add to the goals tally and add to the scoring in this contest. Bakuna into Bella. Goes for goal! And puts it over Hernandez's foot. That just shows their, how concerned they are, is that when Hernandez picked the ball up there, he not only had Stacey, he had Jaden Anthony. Gets a chance here though, Hernandez cuts it back. Chad Sunjic saved by Travers. Sunjic stretched and tried to put it past Travers. It was straight at him. But another good save by the Bournemouth goalkeeper. Again, it all comes through Hernandez, doesn't it? And there is the whistle. Well, it's a warm embrace between Scott Parker and Lee Bowie and full time on the South Coast, which ends in defeat for Blues. It's finished Bournemouth 3, Blues 1.